How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with GTA San Andreas videos. This one is the second video after Ice Cold Killas, and I did a walkthrough of that video, and this is the end result. You get the phone call, you meet Cesar at Pier 69, and Woozy's guys are going to back you up, and you're going to, you know, basically take down T-Bone Menendez and the syndicate that is supplying drugs to Ryder and Big Smoke. Now, unfortunately, this is a difficult mission because of the controllers. And I'll explain when I get to that point. Hey, Holmes, I'm up here. Go around the back. Hey, man. Nice job getting that phone message. What's up with Jizzy? Dead. So what's the plan? T-Bone security got here real early. They got men on the roofs watching over the pier. Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you. That was Woozy's boys. They're in place. Look down by the side entrance. Shit, they heading up to the roof. Shit! Me now we're gonna have to take out T-Bones man on the rooftop before this whole gig blows wide open. This is where the mission becomes extremely difficult. The sniper rifle controls are not very good, and it is due to the fact that the Xbox 360 controller is much more um fine than the old Xbox controller. As a friend explained to me, the Xbox 360 is a digital controller versus an analog controller, so you can't really get that whole fine tuning in, and it took me a while to redo this whole point to start over again and finally get the controller to where I could actually um, kill the guys. So I'm going to move forward to that point. Shit, they walked right into it. One of those triad boys is down. Hey, that's one more Mountain Cloud boy down. Take him out, CJ. They're right in the thick of it. Hey, there's still some on the left, CJ. They're getting cut to pieces, CJ. Shoot those damn rifas. As you could see, it was a little Man, hard fine-tuning in the sniper rifle to try and hit the bad guys. Now this is the meeting between T-Bone, Ryder, and Mike. That snake and Look at that fool. it's out with the, the whole like they was drug dealing path. event that CJ wants to break up. Something ain't right. Where's Torino? Chopper inbound! That's gotta be Torino. Oh shit, he'll see the bodies on the rooftops. It's too late, man. He's tripping out, Holmes. Now, unfortunately, Mike Trino escapes because he sees the dead bodies. But CJ can take down T-Bone and Ryder. And unfortunately, this is where things kind of froze up a little bit. So I had to hit A on my controller in order to move forward. 
but T-Bone and his men are setting CJ up for a battle, which we will get to. CJ is going to have to fight his way through, and the best way is to switch to the AK-47, which again has the most firepower, and just take the hits on the body armor and fight straight through toward T-Bone, who is at the back of the Pier 69 complex. And it's just basically blast your way through. Don't worry too much. Caesar has your back on some of the guys. So, and these guys are using weak weapons. So yeah, if you're properly body armored and you have the firepower of the AK, you can just start taking these guys down. Fuck y'all! You want to move toward the back of the complex quickly and take down T-Bone because once you do, the firefight is over. Mendez, I see you, Rifa, motherfucker! Hey, Ryder, sherm head asshole, where you think you going? C can't stop me. He's in it for those boats! Don't worry about it, I got this. After Cesar and CJ deliver justice to T-Bone, um, CJ has to go after Ryder. Now, the swimming in GTA San Andreas is, how shall I say, kind of terrible. And so it's kind of a struggle to get to the boats and you're swimming against currents. As you can see, yeah, this is a struggle and it feels like you're going nowhere. But you are, if you continue to fight and struggle, you will eventually get toward your goal. And that is to get into the boat and chase Ryder who, once you get to the boat and get in, will run. And you can try and strafe him and attack him, but the best way to do it is just follow and keep up with Ryder until you have an opportunity to get out in the open and then attack him. And I will fast forward to that point. Ryder will try to avoid you. Now, the easiest way is you can try and get up to the side of him and fire, but again, he's going to weave around and try and weave through other boats to avoid CJ. And as long as you're in the river area, there's not enough room for you to really kind of, you know, get close to Ryder. You want him to get out into the open, and you can kind of strafe him here and there. But you're going to keep shooting his boat until it basically gets on fire and explodes. So once you get past these boats and you can get CJ out in the open, then you can take down Ryder. Again, I'm just going to fast forward to that point. Now that Ryder is in the open ocean, you can kind of come up to him and fire at his boat. You can get a little ahead of him, but remember, you got to keep up with his boat and keep shooting. And eventually you will damage his boat to a point of where he, you know, his boat will basically catch on fire and explode. And you're in the open ocean, so you have plenty of room to maneuver around and get beside him and keep firing until his boat explodes.
up, Caesar? Hey, you okay, Holmes? We've been watching from the pier with binoculars. Yeah, I'm good, I think. Listen, you guys better clear out. The cops gonna be all over the spot in a minute. Sure thing, see you back at the garage. Obviously, CJ's boat took some damage and it's flaming. It still is viable to get back to shore. You will be far away from San Fierro and it's just easier to get out of the boat, jack a car, and in this case, you're close to Los Santos, so CJ can drive off to Los Santos and save at his house in Los Santos. Plus, you can arm up with some more AK-47 ammunition. So the drive there is going to be a little bit, and I'm not going to cover it. But I'd like to remind you that if you like this video and you like this type of video, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button. Even if you dislike it, smash the dislike button. But don't forget to subscribe. It's a great way for me to monetize the channel. Maybe uh, make a little extra cash. I also want to remind you that um, this channel is the same is sponsored by my website barstoolentertainment.com. Go to that website. There is a free web comic that posts every Sunday. Teen Spider Adventures. It's a decent web comic in my opinion. And as always, folks, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. I know what I'm having for dinner.